guys, uh, this is just uh, our first official video, tutorial video, um, on our new channel, Adobe Wizards. And uh, in this video, we'll be talking about the basics of Photoshop CS4. Now, um, this is pretty uh, complicated at first, but you will get used to it. So um, just watch the video, and if you do have Photoshop CS4 and you're not used to it, then this video should be pretty uh, good for you. Okay, so we'll be going over the interface right now. Uh, let's look at the top. Um, this is just a small bar showing the logo, then launching a button to launch bridge. This is to show rulers, uh, stuff like that, grids and guides right here. You can, uh, you, this is just a zoom level. Um, you can uh, use that only when you have an image open, so we'll demonstrate that later. This is the move or hand tool, zoom tool, rotate view tool. This is an interface, sort of. Um, you can arrange your documents right here. We'll show you that later too. This is a this is a mode thing. So um, yeah, we'll show you that in depth more. Now, right here in the side, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you'll see the toolbars. Uh, these are pretty uh, basic, except for these, which I actually haven't used yet, because um, this is all basic, or not basic, sorry. Uh, it's all 3D stuff. It's a new, um, it's a new add-on or uh, feature in CS4. So, yeah. Now let's uh, open a file. Any in, in file. Let me just open um, wallpapers right here. Hmm. Let's open more than one. Let's just open this. And I'm sorry, it's taking a while. It shouldn't. Let's just open that and that. Okay, so this is another new interface thing. This is called tabbed uh, browsing. So you can click through both like this. You can also go up here and change it to a flow all in Windows, where uh, you should be used to that if you have you if you had Photoshop CS3. Um, you can change that to two side by side, two above each other. It's really uh, flexible. Now, you can fit on screen like this to each document. Fit on screen. There you go. But I prefer tabbed interface like this. So, yeah. Uh, you can change this. Uh, if you had CS3 or used to that, we were, you were able to see the uh, wallpaper in the background and all that stuff. You can change that right here. Um, range. And full all in window, full we'll like right there. Now uh, you can do basic. Well, you can pretty much do a lot of stuff with this. So um, let's go over these uh, tools. This tool is to just generally to move stuff like this. Like you can move the text. Um, it's really basic. This is just uh, a tool. You can see here it's a marquee tool. There's four different options for it, and then you can drag this and delete parts that you want to. So yeah, do something like that. This is the lasso tool, where you can select by dragging your mouse all over the place. This is a wand tool where uh, it's pretty useful if you have like a green stuff right here. You can select only the green part, and then or if you click on the part that you want to erase, it would select all the colors that's related or very similar. So, with that, as you saw, if you want to delete, like, a uh, sort of darkish green, select the darkish green part, and then it would select darkish green part. It's not always accurate, so please don't get frustrated with that. Um, personally, I don't use this tool, but it's a crop tool. You can crop this part out like that. It's pretty uh, useful sometimes for when you make icons, 
probably. This is the eyedropper tool which uh, you can click on the color you want to have as a brush. Um, so if you want this really really dark green, click that and then you would go into your color palette. Your foreground color. So you can change all this like by clicking everywhere. Or if you want this whitish, greenish color, like that, and then you can have that as a brush. I don't use this at all, so I'm not really sure what this does, but it's a spot healing brush tool, as it says here. I seriously don't know what that is, I'm sorry about that. Okay, so let's go to uh, the second, or the next tool. The brush tool is one of the most important and basic tool you can get in here. So I just made a new layer right here. So let's go. You can uh, color. You can change the opacity up here. Drag it up all the way to 100. You can have it as you can see. Uh, and yeah, we can change the color. I select it right here. Go to black. Like that. And once you select the brush tool, you can go up here and check out what. You can sort of customize it, you can change, you can select the brush that you want to use, the master diameter, and then the hardness of it. Um, yeah, and it, it applies to all of the tools right here, it shows the option up here, so it's pretty useful. This is the stamp tool, which is not too um, important. This is a uh, the brush, another brush tool that's a little different. Now you can mess around with this a lot, and it's pretty fun. You can change the diameter first, and then you can change the opacity, and change the style here, and the tolerance. And what this does is sort of messes up uh, your, your image. You can make it look like tiles, like that. It's pretty neat, it's pretty fun. Change that to tight medium, loose curl like that. It's, it's very uh, fun to play with. There's two of them. Now there's the eraser tool, which you, you should all know. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just erase this stuff. Now let's go to the bucket tool and the gradient. The gradient is what makes the dark down here and the green up here. You can change it like that. And drag it all around and change it. Uh, and then the paint bucket tool is also self explanatory. You can uh, select and color. This is a smudge tool, sharpen and blur tool. Smudge tool is pretty self explanatory as what it says, it just smudges the whole thing, uh, image. You can make, you can change the strength up here. Of how much you want to uh, blur it or smudge it. Now this one is a dodge tool, burn tool, and sponge tool, which I won't really go into because I don't use that either. This is a pen tool, which you can uh, make shapes by going like this. Okay, so next tool, the text tool. Another self-explanatory tool just makes text as you want to. Just type in whatever you want. You can change color up here, like stuff like that. Next is this cursor icon, it's called path selection tool. You can uh, select what you want, if you want to. This is what, this is where you can make shapes, circle, rectangle, um, ellipse, polygon, line, custom shape. So you can just drag, let go, and then yeah, just make shapes. Now these I won't go over, I'm sorry. But uh, we, I have to get used to this. Um, or I have to start making 3D stuff in order to use these uh, tools. So, yeah. This is a zoom tool, which you can drag to um, zoom in and out right here. So you want to zoom in and press that. Go ahead and zoom in all the way. And yeah, that's pretty much the, um, not the whole interface, but then the tools. So I um, hope you guys um, learned a lot from this. 
And uh, the next tutorial will probably be about more uh, this side, the right side of the, the whole window or Photoshop in general, CS4. So I um, hope, hope this actually helped. Sorry if my explanation was pretty bad. Uh, so yeah, um, to learn a lot, just experiment by yourself a lot. And it's um, if you experiment by yourself, it's pretty um, it gets pretty good. You you can get pretty good with Photoshop because that's what happened to me. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.